if we take an open jar into space, to outer space, and close it uh, once up, thereby filling it with the vacuum of space, what would happen if we bring it to, uh, to Earth level atmosphere and even to the International Space Station? It would be the best vacuum we would have ever encountered on Earth, ever. Really? Yes. We can't Better. make vacuums as good as space vacuums. Really? Yeah. Last I checked, we can't do it. Oh, by the way, you might ask yeah. if, quote unquote, nature abhors a vacuum, which of course it doesn't because most of the universe is vacuum. Mm -hmm. um, how come all Earth's atmosphere doesn't just rush out into the vacuum of space? It's true. Hey, you why might doesn't ask. it? Yeah, because Earth has gravity, and the gravity keeps the, the atmosphere separate from the rest of the vacuum of space. That's all. That's okay. All, yeah. all right, here's the question. I just discovered Wait, did a... I just say that? No, oh. so... <laughs> Oh, wait. No, a vacuum, I, I should have answered that completely differently. Yeah. So, a vacuum on Earth, mm -hmm. na we think of nature pouring it because air wants to get inside the vacuum. Yeah. Air wants okay. to go into the vacuum. Air wants to go in because you are in a place where there's air pressure that wants to get inside. As you get higher up in the atmosphere, the air pressure gets less and less and less and less and less. Because there's less air above it pressing down. And when you get less and less and less and less and less, the air doesn't want to do anything. It's got no forces, there's no air pressure to make it, it's just going to float away. Okay, so our atmosphere goes out thousands of miles, getting ever so thinner as it gets out there. And so it's it's not that Earth is holding the atmosphere down, although it is. It's that the air pressure out there has no urge to go anywhere other than just staying right where it is. Right. Because yeah. there's less air above it pressing down. And when you get less and less and less and less and less, the air doesn't want to do anything. It's got no forces, there's no air pressure to make it, it's just going to float away. Okay, so our atmosphere goes out thousands of miles, getting ever so thinner as it gets out there. And so it's, it's not that Earth is holding the atmosphere down, although it is. It's that the air pressure out there has no urge to go anywhere other than just staying right where it is. Now,